actually like this wobbling sound of FT8. It's even in my intro, which some of you say is too loud. But I like this sound because it means there could be a DX station hiding behind this warbling sound. It's even more thrilling that this DX is possible to make a contact with using just this little tiny QDX digital transceiver. How is it possible? Watch this. Number one DX. Fantastic, Fox Kilo 8 Hotel Mexico, not full 5 watts, and the Anfed half-wave antenna, Oceania, New Caledonia, no country for me. And this is full size, 80 to 10 meters, Anfed half-wave antenna. Goes over there to the pine trees. Isn't it amazing, guys, the distance between New Caledonia and Vilnius, where I'm located now in Lithuania, is more than 15,000 kilometers. So that's, that's crazy. And it's on 20 meters. Of course, all this possible only due to the dramatically improved propagation these months, these days. So basically, the solar cycle 25 is full swing or almost coming to be a full swing. The upper bands are open up again and we all must be ready for this. I'm getting ready. This QDX digital transceiver is from 80 to 20 meter band. 20 meter band is the lowest band of all the upper bands. So this is not enough. I'm not satisfied with this. I'm satisfied with the quality. It's fantastic little, little radio. So I bought another version. I bought QDX version 5, the PCB version 5, and it's a high band version. We will see. So it's going to be from 20 to 10 meter bands, another 5 bands, so 20 to 10 and all, all the work bands in between. Number 2 DX. Yankee Charlie Zero, Sugar Juliet Alpha, Indonesia, 20 meters. Emitting 4.7 watts. Fantastic. Number 3 DX. Another DX. X-Ray Victor 5 Tango Bravo, Vietnam. 20 meters. Number 4 DX. Alright. Bravo Golf 6 Papa Yankee Yankee. China. CQ zone 24. Fantastic. In my location, uh, basically it's a late afternoon and into the evening where I can expect DX opening to Indian Ocean, to the Pacific Ocean, uh, to the east from me and uh, into the United States and Canada for the transatlantic contacts, uh, so into the west from me. Number 5 DX. United States, Nancy Lima 7 Victor. Okay, finished. Transatlantic QSO. On 20 meter band with QDX digital transceiver. Fantastic. And the end fed half wave, 80 to 10 meters antenna. So during this evening session, which this video is all about, I've been operating on 20. 40 and 60 meter bands and uh, not always the success is here not this time dx 40 meter band 5 watts from qdx digital transceiver into china from lithuania not so easy Hellway 2 bhp is my qrp call sign Sometimes it takes a lot of time to call and call and call. Sometimes the computer recognizes the signal of the other station, but is not able to finish. 
So on 40 meter band, I got no DX stations that evening. Uh, even if uh, the Chinese station answered me, answered my call, uh, but we were not able to finish to finalize the QS. So in difference from 40 meters, 60 meter band was a surprise for me. I'm new to this band and this band is new to me. So I was very lucky to make a transatlantic QSO. Number six DX. Canada, Victor Echo 1 Yankee X-ray on 60 meter with 5 watts from QDX digital transceiver it's he called me and that half wave 80 to 10 meters antenna tuned with the tuner for 60 meter band so summing up guys I've spent few fantastic hours at my digital setup tonight I've made a bunch of QSOs which are real DX stations for me and uh, what can I say? QRP is a huge fun, FT8 is fun, and here I may allow myself to disagree with those of you guys who say that FT8 is not a real ham radio mode, that it's automatic mode which computers make contacts with computers with no humans involved. Maybe it's possible, with some software it is possible. But even then, there is a human element. I'm running here on my Chewy Minibook uh, laptop here. The classical, traditional software, which I like very much, WSGTX version of it. And it, 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 it does take a human participation. You need, you know, to choose the, the station you want to work with yourself. Uh, you need and you can and you have to decide which station, you know, uh, you, are, you are answering first. Uh, it could be automatically, but if you don't tick the call first, then, you know, you can choose the station yourself from, let's say, three or four stations or five stations calling you. You see all them on the screen, so you can choose yourself which is most wanted for you um, for instance if you doing other so to say keyboard so-called keyboard digital modes uh, like uh, rtty or psk31 you normally don't rack to a lot in psk mode on or, or in rtty mode you're just sending the same macros from the same computer or you type you know, if you're good at typing, at, if you click at keyboard, you may type in all the same information yourself. Like, you know, my name is... I've been running today the QDX transceiver version 3. It's a 80 to 20 meter band version. Uh, I've been running the fantastic little gadget together with it. It's the Power SWR digital meter. And I've been running my Chewy Minibook laptop computer uh, to run the WSJTX uh, software. So, with this, uh, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments in the comment section. What DXs have you made recently running QRP? Uh, like any QRP, QDX, be it QDX digital transceiver or be it, you know, any any other ICOM IC705 or Electraft, Electraft KX2 or True SDX or USDX or Micro SDX, whatever uh, transceiver you've got in QRP mode. Uh, so what's your success? What are your results? Uh, because uh, if all of us suddenly start making DX stations, that's one more proof the Solar Cycle 25 is here. So that's very important for you to make comments in the comment section because I need to be sure the Solar Cycle 25 started. With this said, see you in my next videos. Peace and victory for Ukraine. Take care. 73. Bye bye. This is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.